fuck off, we're self-isolated. Hello, welcome to Inside, Inside, In, Living La Vida, Lockdown. It's the online comedy chat show uh, presented by me, <laughs> Rob Mulholland, where I bring you amazing comedians live from their homes because you mustn't go outside or all our grands will die. So uh, with me today, we've got another banging lineup. I'll introduce them one by one as we go around. Uh, to my side right here, we've got Esther Manito. Hello, oh, Esther. And uh, below me here, we have got Josh Pugh. <laughs> going for the nice celebrity squares intro beautiful man absolutely bang on and down in this corner we've got mark nelson hello hello good to see you guys thank you very much for coming on i know you're all very very busy at the moment there's a lot of, you know like a lot of things to get out to a lot of things to do uh so let, let's find out for a start let's find out where you are and who you're locked down with what are your situations like Anyone could jump in. You know what? I'll, 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 I'll fucking start. Jesus Christ. Right. Don't be polite. Fucking dive in. Esther, let's start with you. Who are you with? Who am I with? I'm on lockdown with my husband and my two children. You sound delighted about it. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's what it is. Um, Whereabouts it's, geographically it's, it's, are you? I'm in London. <laughs> That's like the worst place to be. <laughs> I mean, it's the worst place to be, like, generally, but during this yeah, shit, yeah, like, I fuck so. being in London right now. Like, no, I love London. Yeah, do you love really it now? London. Yeah, yeah, but I'm in, I'm out in uh, Woodford, so I've got loads of green near me. Ah, right, okay, so you're not, like, in the, yeah, yeah, like, you're, like, zone six or some shit, aren't you, there? That's basic, that's not London. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit. Uh, I used to live in London. I can do the London banter. Yeah, fucking travel card. <laughs> London banter. <laughs> well, you know what it's like on the tube, yeah? When no one looks at you and no, you want to die. Like and I'd love to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd fucking kill for a sweaty tube Bro, right now, I wouldn't would you? I would on the tube. That's Sorry, that wasn't banter. meant to be a euphemism. <laughs> Right, uh, like, well, yeah, so I don't think anyone's going to beat you for worse situation. I'm sorry, like, kids and in London, that is a horrific lockdown on my mm. scale, to be honest with you. Uh, Josh, where are you, about, uh, mate? Who are you with? Don't fucking uh, speak too soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in the Midlands, I'm uh, near Coventry, been a small town, so it's very green near me, and uh, I'm with my wife. All right, so, that sounds all right. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. She's fine with it. She's very, in the nicest way, she, very, she saw, a, saw a horse earlier in a field, so she's happy now for two days. <laughs> she sounds she, a lot like my good missus, to be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, she's uh, she's taking it in a stride. It's, it's fine, mate. It's up and down for everybody, I think, but <laughs> yeah. as far as situations go, I'm, I'm pretty lucky here, to be honest. No, it's all right. Like, um, my girlfriend uh, has not been enjoying me quoting one of your tweets uh, constantly. Uh, when you when you tweeted right at the start of this lockdown, what you'd said to your wife, we were like, oh, yeah. it could be worse. You know, you're like, uh, you, you know, not everyone gets oh, to yeah, live with yeah. one of the uh, the country's finest entertainers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has not been consolation to my girlfriend. I'll be honest with you. She every no, every no, time no. I say that, I just get furious daggers. <laughs> yeah. That's almost worse. Is when we're when we're up. That's almost harder to live with. Mm. Oh, way harder, then, man. When I'm on like yeah. a, a when I'm on a good day and I'm full of beans, I am a fucking nightmare. Like yeah, to be locked in a worse. house with, awful. You don't need that fucking energy. So, like, <laughs> Mark, who are you with, man? What's your situation? Where you at? I I'm in Glasgow with my wife and two kids. All right. So another family situation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm 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 actually. I don't know where, I don't know what, can I, are you on Easter holidays just now, Esther? Yeah, sorry, I don't know how to stop this. Um, <laughs> just need to close Facebook. No, yeah, I am, I am on Easter holidays, <laughs> but it's the Easter holidays, nice. so they think they're still doing that. Nice. Right, okay, so like. So we bumped into, into some other children as we were out for our daily walk, and the other kids were like, Oh, so we're doing like fun stuff because it's the Easter holidays. And my kids are like, what? And I was like, just move on. Don't listen to that. So you're carrying on schooling them even through the holidays? <laughs> yeah, because it keeps them in a routine. I can't, yeah, let, them, I can't. I let them go rogue because they're feral and they argue and they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I can't wait till the fucking school and starts again. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I honestly can't. I never thought I'd want to be a teacher as much in my fucking life. It's like... Oh, my God. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And are you, so Mark, are you homeschooling? Yep. 
I'm doing my best. Like I'm, I'm teaching them. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know. This is the I'm problem. I'm teaching them shit. Yeah, trying shit to get they educated. To know. That's from what I'm a... teaching them. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, what? Like never pay more than twenty for an eighth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like real Teach world skills. skills. <laughs> but they've got different words, like nothing's just normal. It's all got to be done as like this fun, quirky way. So it's not like, oh, you're teaching them how to spell or you're teaching them how to do numbers. Like they, they're like, they've got to know all their number bonds up to 40. And I'm like, I don't know what a number bond is. Yeah. Or... Why can't you just use adding? Mm. What is the number? And then my dog's like, you don't know what a number bond is. And I'm like, I don't like the fact that you've got more power than me. <laughs> yeah, I've had this same situation with my nephews, like trying to teach them stuff. Like, you know, like my, my sister will be like, oh, you know, like your uncle Rob will help with your homework. And then they show me like English homework where it's like, oh, like what is a preposition and what is a, a pre-adverb? I'm like, I don't oh, fucking know. I write professionally and I have no idea what any of this fucking bullshit is. Like, I do not understand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, mate, Josh, like you must be like me though. Right now, how, how smug are you feeling about not having kids during this? I'm fucking oh, loving it, mate. It, it, but it's, it's more of a sympathy I've gone past the, the the smug phase. I'm more of a, a sympathy for people that are doing it. Like at the start, I can imagine it's a bit of a novelty. You know, we'll do the colouring in sheets, we'll do a bit of stuff. But two weeks in, it's a it's a mm. massive effort, and it? it really is. Yeah, like uh, yeah. We, um, my um, my sister my sister in law will Facetime with the, with the kids for like thirty seconds, and I'm like, I'm going for a lie down, man. <laughs> is it? They don't fucking stop. <laughs> Like, I'll be honest, I'm it's fucking like done with Ned. It's like having loads of Rob. <laughs> I'm having Rob, but multiple. Yeah. Oh, no one needs that shit. Like, it's like it's like ants in your brain. <laughs> Do you remember Rob when you did your um, when you did your podcast in Edinburgh, and yeah. you were like, oh, I was all set up in my room in my flat, and I walked into your room, and I was like, sorry, <laughs> what is it? And you were like, I've tidied for yeah. this. Like, this is my clean bedroom <laughs> yeah Esther, so, Rob, we, Esther fully when shamed we me did that, we actually had a, when we did that Rob it was actually in the studio you'd booked out so I'm not quite it sure was. <laughs> I wasn't wearing my dressing gown for your podcast as well was I <laughs> yeah. sorry I'm, I'm just going to fertilise this pot plant <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing a banana hammock with nothing else. <laughs> Look, you guys don't I did mine in the back of a van. <laughs> <laughs> Down uh, you guys don't need to try and cancel me. I'll do it by myself. Plenty of wealth. Don't you worry. Like, leave me fucking to it. <laughs> it was true that Esther did full on shame me for my Edinburgh bedroom. She was like, this is disgusting. You need to sort this out. Give me a little telling off. Like, not too much, but enough to be like, you know, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. You've become very mother and son. I was like, why did you say something? And then you tried to shame me back. You're like, I've got ADHD and I really struggle with time. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. I know, I tried that one. Like, ever since I found out like, I had ADHD, I've been using that excuse, and it works with most people on most things because people don't really know what it covers. So I'm like, actually, I've uh, got a developmental it disorder. Mean that you have 18 pot noodles next to your bed. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't 18. This is a gross exaggeration, right? What there was was 18 wrappers for shawarmas from Palmyra Pizza. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of cans of tango. Yeah, well, like it... the idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, what it is 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 at, at Palmyra Pizza, which is the business I most hope survives this shutdown. Uh, Palmyra Pizza in Edinburgh is the greatest takeaway on earth, and uh, they give that you get like a, I would go and get a can of drink with it, but I'd only want one sip, right? Because I was high. So I'd want one sip to get rid of my dry mouth, then I just want to eat the shawarma, and then all the cans would end up. Piling up next to me. I was in Edinburgh. I didn't give a shit. It wasn't my house. <laughs> your, ha your house was nice in Edinburgh, Rob. It was a nice flat, wasn't it? Yeah, when you're not being a, a, a miserable complaining knob about it, you know. You're not going to come and pick holes in <laughs> well, my situation. It was, it was a nice house. Good location, <laughs> Benedict. It's on a, one of the bridges, well, what wasn't it? Was it, Rob? It was right off... Um, right, so it's... Uh, what's the bridge called? Ah, fucking hell. So it's right off the mile, just off the mile. Actually, you know, uh, I don't... I can't remember the name of the street, but it's the hill where you go down towards Newtown, you know, where it, like, curls down. You're just coming off the mile. It's right there on the corner, next to... Is it Summer Hall? 
just comes off the bottom of it. Yeah, it's down at the bottom. Um, so basically, when you're going down towards Princess Street, like, you know, that curly road you walk down? I can't remember the name of it at all. But, Colburn uh, Street. Might well be, might well be. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's huge. right there. Wow, your flat was huge. Yeah, I mean, it cost a fucking fortune, uh, but there was loads of us in it, was the thing. There was a, like there was like eight people living there or something, so we split it down. So it became like a regular Edinburgh Festival price, which was still insane, but it was worth it. I would do it again uh, if I ever do the Edinburgh Fringe again, to be honest with you. I'm not sure I'm mm-hmm. ever going to go again like, at the moment. Like, are you, are you guys, were you guys meant to be going this year? I wasn't this year, so yeah. I feel pretty pretty happy about that. And then for next year, who who knows? It's hard to yeah. Because if people got the money back, if you've registered, yes, yeah, so, all rolls over. Yeah, or there was a third option: you could donate it to the Edinburgh Fringe. <laughs> I, I, fuck that, man! I know, man. Absolutely, like the cheekiest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no. It's like we've been mugging you for years. Can we just have another fiver, yeah, please? <laughs> It's like your school, your school bully who's been taking your dinner money every day, asking for your fucking lunch money when you're actually trying to buy one from the fucking school, isn't it? Crazy. Well, I mean, that's, that's the times we're living in now. I mean, even though you pay yeah. taxes, you've still got to fundraise for your NHS. Ah, the, uh, that shit's mad, money. isn't it? Mm. I know. We've just got yeah. veterans trying to raise money for the NHS. I'm like, how about you just put aside money, which you should have done, instead of lining your fucking pockets? How about Amazon just pays its tax? Exactly. Let's phone Jeff Bezos and he can stop every old man having to walk around the fucking garden. I mean, obviously, much love to Captain Tom. That guy is a fucking hero, obviously. What a wonderful bloke. He's like, fought in every world war. Exactly. Look how many medals the guy's got to lug around his fucking garden. Like, his chest must weigh a fucking ton. He has done his fucking bit. He did have to do it in their medals, to be fair. (laughs) What's that? Stolen medal. He did have to do it in their medals. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's what I want to see. Put a fucking army pack on his back and shit like that, and then make him fucking walk. <laughs> you reckon you're a fucking hero? We're doing SAS Who yeah. Dares Wins with octogenarians. Yeah. Yeah. 50 burpees after every lap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you really care about the NHS, you'll get involved, Tom. Well, I did think it was mad. Like, they did a guard of honour for him at the end. And I was like, don't fucking get near him. Like, they were at a socially distant, you know, they were at two metres away. But I was like, that guy is that old. You need to be six miles away from him, just in case. Like, Yeah. Yeah. But that's, I wonder how it, the, 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 the story got the initial traction. Like, who, who was filming it? Who did he tell? Who did he know? Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's quite shrewd, isn't it? He's done very well. Not just he has. He's, he's done good feet. numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. His followers are through the roof. Physical feet are doing it, yeah. Yeah, no, he's he's playing the social media game. I'm going to do it to raise money for my Edinburgh show next year. I think he's not only got all those uh, all those medals. He's now got a YouTube creators pack. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like obviously, obviously, it is the most like it is the for like Britain. It is the most on brand. Like this story is gonna bang in the papers. Like as soon as like you know, like the tabloids heard about this, they must have creamed their fucking knickers. Like oh. the, the guy's dead old. Oh, he's God, a veteran. Yeah. He's walking for the NHS. It's just like oh, everything that Middle Britain fucking loves in one. Yeah, but like it did just make yeah. me a bit sad. It's like the only know, the only better thing. Go the only bit anything he could have done is he walked to Diana's grave. <laughs> <laughs> He's just doing lengths of French road tunnels. Just to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like that's my total thing has been like much respect to him and what a wonderful thing for him to do. But like, it's just fucking sad that he has to, isn't it? Like, he shouldn't have to do well, it's that. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And this whole business of like every single newspaper. He's now like, oh, I love it. We're so proud of the NHS. You fucking trash the NHS into the ground, the sun. Yeah, 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 totally. You trash the NHS and you have made the NHS break. Yeah. And now you've got bloody Boris Johnson saying, oh, applaud the NHS. Yeah, no, yeah fuck it, man. Also, like, the people who were donating to, like, Captain Tom, right, why are they still making him walk? Just give him the money and say, have a rest, lad. Like, he doesn't need to walk. It's not directly earning yeah. the money. It's just he's encouraging people to donate. No, he has yeah, stopped Yeah, he's now. still going. He, oh, he's going to st- keep going. Oh, is he keeping going? All he's right. Gonna, Newsflash. Yeah, he's going to start, he's gonna start he's funding gonna every public him. service now. <laughs> 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 so think about that. Yeah. 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 TFL are getting the money next. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, being the, imagine being the independent adjudicator on that. 
<laughs> Sorry, Tom, you've missed a cone there. We're going to have to chalk that one off. <laughs> Round you go again, lad. I should do, but they should do it for the Edinburgh Fringe, but just get the oldest comedian. What, you get like Ivor Dembina going round this garden? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking off you go, Jeff Innocent. Off you go for a walk. <laughs> I, I really want to get Jeff on this show, but like, I'm not sure he's going to be able to work the fucking like, work Zoom. I've already I've already taught me mum how to use it. I'm not sure I can do Jeff as well. He's on Facebook now. He, he is, is on Facebook now. Yeah. Yeah. For anyone watching, Jeff Innocent, fucking brilliant comedian. When he can go see people again, go see him. But uh, yeah, at the moment, fucking leave him alone. He's definitely vulnerable. <laughs> uh, so like uh, before this all like, happened like you know when it was all like coming in like did what was your last like what was your last day out like i i i've i've told these uh, like you know i've been telling people on it i had like the shittest weekend of gigs i was in crap gigs like having a bad time my last weekend what was your like last week what was your last couple of days out like before this did you even get good ones but the gigs were really weird before this it's because mm. kind of people yeah. were kind of nervous so it was it was a weird atmosphere but also mm. It was like the people that were coming out to gigs were almost like the crazies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. They were like, I don't, I won't get affected by this because I wear a foil hat. And it's fine. <laughs> yeah. You're like, great. Mm -hmm. It was, mm -hmm. it was like one of those full moon gigs where it's just mm -hmm. fucking mental people at the actual gig. Yeah. Like, I think, mm -hmm. I think on, Russell Hicks was saying that he was at Top Secret and this woman was just like, this mad woman was in the audience just throwing masks. Going, I've got hundreds, I've got hundreds, and just throwing them. And he was like, I don't know. What's going on. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, I could have used her. I haven't been able to get hold of her mask. <laughs> Although, like, to me, it wouldn't work with my facial hair. I looked at that chart, having a beard, and no, and like, look, right, I, I love me nan, but I like my beard more, so sorry. <laughs> Can't you just dry the mustache hair down? What's that? You just get a long tash. Love to... it. I don't know if that's going to work. Like uh, eating will become a difficulty there. Like, um, like where were you, Josh? Where was your last weekend, mate? Uh, I was with you on the Friday, Robert. Um, yes. Mine was just a bit of a non-event. Leeds, really, Leeds Prism. We were at. We were at. Uh, that... yeah. Oh yeah, a spicy one. Uh, me and Josh yeah. <laughs> banging out the goods. And then Saturday was a uh... Prism. What? No. Wow. Like the nightclub like chain. The nightclub chain. Oh, yeah, we weren't in Armley Nick season. like fucking Johnny Cash. <laughs> no, we were like... Imagine, imagine a 10 stretch in Leeds Prism. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Right, that'd be horrific. Like, yeah, I, I would take the, the actual prison over that nightclub. Like, <laughs> Jesus Definitely. fucking Christ. Whenever I do that gig, I like, I make sure, like, my, my goodbyes in the green room are perfunctory because, like, the people who run it, you know, it's all great. All the staff and stuff are excellent. But, like, after the show, I'm getting the fuck out because the people who are at the show leave and all the people who come to the nightclub come in. And if you yeah, don't get um, out of there fast, mm. you get trapped in this wave of just cunts. Just absolute cunts mm. coming in. Like, those nightclubs are... F fuck me. Well, I you didn't know, know nightclubs still existed. Do people still go to nightclubs? I, I mean, I, I, I don't know if they're as popular as they used to be, those sort of chain nightclubs. I don't know. I would assume not, surely, because all the people who like them are getting older. And surely younger people have, like, I don't know, because so when you do them, the queue waiting outside when you leave. Yeah, that is true. Like, it's yeah. true. There are people coming in. But like, I don't think it's like it used to be. Those used to be, like, ramo. One of the last nights out I had before all this happened, me and a few of my mates went clubbing, but we went like um working men's clubs <laughs> went to like three working men's clubs in the area but, oh, we had to, um, but we weren't we weren't members at two of them so we had to sign up and fill forms <laughs> out which <laughs> slowed the lads, night right lads, down lads. <laughs> but it's Ask quite a nice, reference <laughs> yeah yes yeah, so one, one of our granddads was on the committee so we were okay but it was a <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to be a member of a working men's club back in my hometown because it had the best beer garden in the fucking country. It's unreal. But like, you did have to deal with the committee and all the old people who were there and all the rules and all that shit in order to go there. Man, like yeah. those places are mad. People get a little bit I've of power. Such, yeah, I know, but I've got such fond memories of those because on my mum's side, so my mum's from Gateshead, and I remember when I was a kid, you go up to my nan and granddad, and it would always be go down the club, and it was just filled. It was like a Weatherspoons, isn't it? Because it's just an old man at every table. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I remember you just go there and everyone's just throwing 
money at you, money in bags of crisps. So you just came out like you're just on the freight machines. Yeah. It's like fucking ah. Oh. Yeah, they're still right. great. They're still great. I love working men's clubs. Like I love anywhere that you can buy a plowman's lunch in a bag. Like I'm yeah. all over that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so just so great for one fifty. Yeah. What are you saying, Josh? It's just so, it's just so comfy, you know. Like you got like the benches around the outside, mm. and then the, the the tables, and like it's all carpeted. It's like it's like just the living room, and it? it's like the living. That's room. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, but they're nice places to do gigs as well. I've done a few. Yeah, because yeah, they're really well set up. They're really good. Like they've always got like good stages and lights and all that. There's always like one old bloke who really cares about the show. Uh, like, um, <laughs> but like when they when you know they, they sometimes can be like when they're bad, they are the worst places. When they're good, oh, they yeah, are okay. amazing. Like a gig in a in a working men's club that is good is just fucking hell. That that energy. There is no better energy than just like people who've worked all week who have been bored and miserable in their shit job. Who are now three pints in? Like there is no the better energy. It's the, women. it's the women. It's the women that come out on the Friday night to yeah. have a drink, and they're so excited to go out. But also, they never sit with their husbands. So you always just get all the women, the wives yeah. and the girlfriends in one thing, and they're just rowdy, loud, drunk women. And I'm like, they're just awesome. Yeah, but I did have a really bad experience once when I rocked up to one, and the guy just walked straight up to my husband and went, "Oh, good, the comedian's here," and he was like, "Oh no, it's not me." <laughs> and the guy just said she was like yeah see i i had (laughs) i had the exact opposite experience in a very cool modern london uh club like uh not so long ago i walked in with lauren patterson and Mm -hmm. went oh lauren good to see you this must be your boyfriend and i I was dismissed and i was like there we go finally we're making some progress you know (laughs) we don't really have social like working men's clubs in scotland do you not? Nah, well, we've got, we've got like social clubs, but they're basically fronts for sectarianism. And that, that's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, I've been in a couple of those, actually. Yeah. Those places are, they, they have a fucking edge. Yeah, we've got Orange Order clubs. <laughs> we have in uh, fucking <laughs> doing a gig in there. No. Yeah, you've got to be careful which jokes you're making there. Like, mm. I think, mm. Yeah, if you're, if you're on, going on the right side, there's nothing you can't say. <laughs> Well, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I did, I did a, I did a gig right next to uh, Hibs Stadium in uh, Edinburgh, and pff, it was in a club like that, man. And like, it was one of those where like the gig shouldn't have been uh, there. No one wanted it to be there. No one gave a shit. Just yeah. uh, you know, like where you're interrupting their night. It was one of those. Like, I, mm. I, I, I'm not. <laughs> and you're like, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, really no. Sorry, but but like, I really I've got to do this. Money. I need the money. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I've, I've come. I've come for this fucking gig. I'm leaving with <laughs> no, money. Fuck off! And you're like, I understand. I and agree. I, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, We're all on the same page here, guys. Yeah. However. <laughs> However. If I don't stand here and say stuff for 20 minutes into this match, <laughs> yeah. I have to leave I'm without my money. getting 50 quid. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so like, we've all done it. Like, that, no that is... shawarmas will be bought on the way home now. So. <laughs> I've got a really bad tango addiction. <laughs> you, always, you always feel obliged to have the food they offer you as well. Oh, like, yeah. Got some food. It's got the water, yeah, yeah. It's watered down chili con carne. Yeah, always the That's same chili. That's all common chili. is. It's just eating chili con yeah. carne you didn't really want. Yeah. That's all it's, like, is. it's like chili con carne on pasta and you're like mm. yeah yeah that's it there's only one recipe that i'm sure all these clubs uh like share like every sort of working men's club or like little pub or whatever has the same chili recipe i don't know where i've never seen it anywhere else it's like watery not spicy at all and like sort of clumps of mints is the way oh yeah <laughs> but you, if you guys think that's bad i, I went veggie it's a few months ago sunday sunday roast yeah meat. It's yeah just yeah nice like I I went veggie a few months ago. Try try that in these places because what you get is the uh, then you get the veggie curry, which is just <laughs> watery vegetables with some sort of flavorless like lick like broth over it. It's fucking rank, man. Like they always look they always look so disappointed as well. Like they're just like. I like because I'm, I'm I was hoping naively at first that it would be a way of getting out this of this obligation that I'd be like oh sorry I'm vegetarian and they'd be like oh well sorry but like they all make a veggie option but they're not happy about it and it's not yeah. good <laughs> and it's almost it's almost worse to turn that down because you're turning down something more 
bespoke. This is it. They've like they feel like they they feel like they've made it for bespoke. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally how they treat it. They like bring it out the back of the kitchen like we found this for you, and then I've got to sit there and eat yeah. and pretend that I'm enjoying it and like, yeah. mm, like oh, delicious. Yeah, fuck me. Like honestly, nothing nothing has made me more want a fucking steak since I went veggie than eating one of those fucking watery veggie curries. Honestly. Have you have you wavered at all, Rob? Since you've I become haven't veggie? actually. I haven't. It's really easy for me to be veggie though, because like my girlfriend's veggie, and like so there's just vegetarian food in the house all the time. Like I am a very, I am a really fragile vegetarian though. Like I, I like a good barbecue could fucking crack me. Like, yeah. I still love meat. That's the mm. problem. Like, I still really love meat. It's my favorite food. I just started feeling sad about like when I was eating it, so I stopped. Like that was all it was. It was an acid trip that did it last year. I started thinking about meat when I was on acid, and it was a bad fucking idea. It ruined bacon. Oh. I can't like bacon. My um my so my dad's side are, uh, are Lebanese, and we were in Lebanon, and my sister was a vegan at the time, and this was something that nobody could really get their head around, and they were just like, "Sorry, but why? What what is this a medical problem?" And she's like, "No, no, I just." <laughs> And my aunt, she got a bit annoyed with this in the end. And my aunt just went, yeah, yeah, no, eat that. It's fine. It's potatoes. And they look like potatoes. Sheep testicles. And it was just oh, you God. and you. We all knew that it was oh, sheep my, God. my sister was just kept on going, it's like, it's quite eggy, though. And we were like, mm, Oh, eggy. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's the last adjective you want your testicles described oh, as. Oh. You've got very eggy <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, why is no one else eating them? Like, oh man, and like that's like the balls. worst meat to go back onto as well. Like I didn't want to eat sheep balls when I was regular when I was eating meat daily. I don't want to go no, they I don't do. want to break they my duck really, on that. They look really scrotumy, but the way they were cooked, she was like, Sorry, do you keep the scrotum work? on when you cook them? <laughs> like I would assume I would assume they'd be debagged, surely. Maybe it's an option. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What, what, no, on a, on a bed of crispy no, they scrotum. Look, they look, you get like look. skin on fries. <laughs> skin on balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out, Robert. I'm going to yeah. send it to you in the post. Report, report back to me. Don't send me sheep's balls in the post. I'm going to send you sheep's balls in the post. <laughs> Oh Christ! Yeah, that that would that would like that wouldn't do for me. But like, yeah, like it, to be honest, it is like the Arab version of sleep with the fishes. <laughs> and your sheep's <laughs> Last uh, that it would that would terrify me. To be fair, that would put the fear of God into me. Like if I opened the post and there were sheep's balls in there, I'd be like, what have I done? <laughs> Who have I angered? When I was, when what I was, did I do in the dark web last night? <laughs> <laughs> when I was up doing the stand up in Glasgow, my dad was up with me, and we were walking down the street, and someone heard me talking. And he was just like, I oh, English bastard. And my dad turned around so livid and was like, I'm an Arab bastard. How <laughs> <laughs> like, dare you think I'm English? Went down well in Glasgow. Oh, it's beautiful, man. Like, uh, yeah, like, uh, where was it? Well, sorry, I just got high then. Sorry, um, sheep's balls and then, oh, you got high, okay. Yeah, 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 sorry, I just, well, like, uh, I just zoned out a bit thinking about sheep's balls, I think. It's a very distracting topic for me. Like, on, on the on the subject of that, uh, like, uh, that Arab thing there, like, uh, about a year ago in Manchester, I had my greatest takeaway delivery of all time, right? Like, I had a, a guy, like, I ordered, an, uh, I ordered a, a Chinese, and... Uh, <laughs> Right, so like, it t like um, I get a phone call, Scottish accent, the guy, right, thick Glaswegian. I will do an, I would do an impression, but Mark would never speak to me again, right? Thick Glaswegian, he's like, come outside for your food. I go outside, and this guy goes, thick, thick you Indian. come outside for your food? Yeah, because I was in a, I was in a tower block. I lived in a tower block, so you got to yeah. come down and get it. Yeah, yeah. So I go, I, I go down outside. Even deliveries are threat. <laughs> Like, I got that. Yeah, you fucking cut <laughs> out. You fucking get me, I'll fucking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, I just listened to him. I was scared. I was like, all right. <laughs> I come outside, right? And there's this, uh, there's, like, there was always outside this building loads of cars. Like, uh, this place was so busy, I got in the wrong dealer's car three times. Like, you know, there was always, like, people Rob, around. How there. are you alive? How are you alive? <laughs> right. And then, uh, but yeah, like, so there's there's always different takeaway people there, always. Uh, but, like, so there's this, uh, this, this Indian guy out of his car, and he holds it up, thick, like, thick accent, just goes, like, uh, do, do you want that Indian? I was like, no, mate, uh, I've, ordered, I've ordered Chinese. And he goes, I am the Indian with your fucking Chinese. 
<laughs> Absolutely blew my mind. What level of banter that guy was operating at. I'll be honest, I tipped him like a fiver. Like, but I, as soon as he left, I was like, he's done that at every fucking house, hasn't he? Every house. Well, and the Indi- so what, he said it in an Indian accent? So he said, time. yeah, so he said, like, do you want, your, uh, have you ordered Indian in an Indian accent? And it turns out it was just an Indian looking guy with a Glaswegian accent who was delivering Chinese. <laughs> yes, amazing. It's like, yeah, it like. Would, it would fuck with you, doesn't it? Isn't it funny when someone's voice just sounds completely different to what you're expecting? Well, this is it. Like, you know, it's Crazy. not like I'm surprised to know that there are Asian looking people from Glasgow, but I'm surprised that one of them is delivering my Chinese. <laughs> Mm. I was, remember Shola Amiobi? I do remember Shola Amiobi. Of yeah, course yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. Big black, big black guy from Newcastle. And yeah. every time he'd speak, as a kid, I was probably at the age where I was like seven, eight, and I could not get my head around this big because he played for Nigeria, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, okay. Thick Geordie accent. I yeah. could not get. I was like, what is going on here, mate? How about the first time he found out John Carew was Norwegian? Oh. Mate, absolutely blew my fucking head off. Blew my head off. But yeah, like, that is it. Like, especially with the takeaway, you do kind of expect the same genre of person as to what you've ordered, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I think they always make a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Always make a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, like, you don't cross the streams, do you? Yay! You don't want to cross the streams, do you? It's <laughs> a bit Trump, where you're just like, build a bridge. Like, yeah. I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want walls. I don't want you to make... It's like when you go to Wasabi. And there just looks like kind of loads of white students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't want it. <laughs> don't want it. I want to order a pizza and I want the guy to turn up and be like, it's just a like my mama used to make. <laughs> 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 I, I fucking love a stereotype, mate. I love one. I like. I want. I want to be served entirely. You don't by want stereotypes. Sharon turning up. No, no. Honestly, like there was a moment I would like uh, after the financial crash a few years ago. You know, which will seem. I imagine will seem very quaint in a couple of years. Uh, but like after that financial. Yeah, that was cute. Cra- that was. Yeah, like cute little r- recession. That was we the had warm there. up. Yeah. Like, uh, the moment I knew we were fucked in that was when uh, a middle-aged white guy delivered me a Chinese. I was like, Pfft. middle-aged white guys yeah. normally oh, are impervious oh, oh. No, no, to no, all no. economic downturns. If this I one's got them, with on a suit. <laughs> <laughs> and you start to do that now, though, like loads of delivery drivers, and they yeah. look like your dad, and you're like, yeah, but every, you know, everyone's fucking like right now. If you've Everyone got a hustle, money. you've got a fucking hustle. Like, you know, it's, know. there's. I've had it the other way around. I've had like um, a, a bad man delivering some moon pig flowers. So. <laughs> like a full on road man. Yes, yeah. man. Got your flowers yes, for man, bro. <laughs> Man's having a romantic occasion. Happy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking beautiful. Got a job. Like, yeah, uh, it's worth it. Like I've uh, like I've I've uh, I've had weed delivered by a woman in a hijab before. I thought that was a lovely uh, moment of multiculturalism. There, like it's like people saying that Muslims don't integrate. Get fucked, right? <laughs> Absolutely, get fucked. <laughs> You can't go to heaven if you're delivering weed. Wait, no, right, fuck that. Weed was made <laughs> no, by God, think. right? Or Allah or whoever you want that was put on earth is a natural substance that makes my days a lot better. So she was providing a valuable service. So thanks to her. Somewhere in a cave, Isis is watching me. <laughs> oh, 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 I could use the views. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back now, Osama was ahead of his time in terms of streaming and stuff, wasn't he? He <laughs> really was. It was quality. It, it was an early content creator. That was a good video quality. He really thought about the lighting. I'll be honest. Like a lot of Osama's videos are circa about 2002. A lot better than most of the content comedians but are putting also, out right now. I reckon he wasn't in a cave. I reckon that was just a. Oh, do yeah. you reckon it was like the moon landings? Yeah. Do you reckon it was like a fake yeah. cave? How have you got that much equipment and you're doing streams, you've got a net connection, you're in a fucking cave? I don't think he was doing streams, to be fair. I think he was recording videos and then uploading them later. I don't think I don't think he was sat on Twitch, like, playing Fortnite. Like, well, probably Flight Simulator was more his game, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, he was streaming. He was he was streaming left, right and centre. Well, like, like, the, like problem, a... the problem with a lot of Al-Qaeda's videos is they ended very badly. Yeah. <laughs> they did, yeah. They they really like no happy ending, was there? No. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Oh no. Oh, no. That's, a, that's a shame. 
He just said he converted. Could have written in a twist. No. Yeah. Just... <laughs> this time, nah, we'll be back tomorrow for the conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> we'll left a little bit of a cliffhanger on him, wasn't it? <laughs> I wonder how like terrorist groups are getting on during all this. Like, I've not really thought about how ISIS are doing at the moment. Like, because they've got to be in lockdown. Surely, ISIS, as well. ISIS released. ISIS released a guide as to how they're uh, preventing COVID. Amazing. Within their ISIS cells. Well, they already cover their face, uh, yeah, don't it's they? Just started, it's just started in in Syria, is it? That they've had a big thing mm. about it? Yeah, it's, it's like pop music. It's about <laughs> two or three years behind. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 and coronavirus are right. <laughs> 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 So, so what, what are they saying, Mark? What, what's their advice? Just kind of stay in. Betcha, they, they're, they're adopting like social distancing as much as they can as well. Which, if you're a suicide bomber, like yeah, it must be really a nightmare for a them. Problem, to be honest, like no, but like surely, like the problem they don't for do them much is in groups. Yeah, but no, they need groups to thrive. Like, if you're a suicide bomber well, now, you're going to get max three people true, in a yeah, Tesco, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Like, you know, you're not, <laughs> you're not really going to do the maximum amount of damage. Although, although like, they are, you know, yeah, yeah. Could you not have just done the queue for fuck's sake? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, like, you know, they've all started, like, instead of blowing themselves up, they, like, drive into people now. At least there are, like, big handy queues for them to go through. So maybe, you know, uh, pick, boom, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Or just, you know, I get, get Steve, one of you guys I with a cough. Rob. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm so, I'm, if ISIS are taking note, I do apologise uh, for any any fatalities they? I cause. <laughs> well, like, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I'm sure they've got plenty of their own ideas, Esther. I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh. Like, I've just watched very good live stream. Uh, I've got ideas. <laughs> Your, your Indian takeaway driver sounds very similar. Yeah, I'm, 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 honest, I'm, doing, I'm doing my best to get cancelled while no one's working. <laughs> uh, I'm not one of these bloody impressions comedians. Fuck it. Uh, like Josh, is your, is, is your moustache a, a, a quarantine affectation? I'm not sure. It, I think quarantine gave me the confidence to uh, to shave it in. You know what? You, you you actually weirdly you suit it, man. Like it does actually yeah. kind of work for you. You look like uh, you look like a football pundit from the seventies. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. We've lost Mark here. He's, He's coming. Yeah, I, I was upside down for a bit. Yeah. Oh, back, back. Yeah, no. yeah. We're just talking yeah. about how uh, Josh looks like uh, looks like fucking Loro at the moment. <laughs> Have you all um, grown a lot more? I like it, man. I like it. Yeah, it's saying like it's, it actually like the moustache really fucking works, doesn't it? Like, uh, like a really good it. it looks like back. yeah it looks like you've always had it <laughs> yeah. it does doesn't it yeah it really works are you gonna keep it do you reckon i, I think so yeah what, what i like to do in in all my life is look like dr dress and look like i'd be really bad at stuff so when i'm competent at stuff it's a surprise people think i'm much better than do you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like if you walk on a comedy stage with that tash what do you think people are gonna be like yeah, oh, I'm thinking more of a get back into kind of clerical work <laughs> after this. <laughs> well, this, this, this guy doesn't. This guy doesn't. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. And then when I deal with a query, competent. Oh, this guy is. Yeah. He's, wow. he's you know what? Up. He actually did very well with that spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah. Deal with it competently. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you think? Do you think we'll be working as anything other than comedians before we're comedians again? Do you know uh... what I mean? Yeah, I reckon so. I think a lot, of, a lot of comics will be, yeah. A lot will, yeah. It depends. It depends massively yeah. on the situation, doesn't it? Like, I, I'm like, yeah. for the first time in my life, this couldn't have happened at a better time in my life for me. Like, I am settled down with my girlfriend who still works and is like middle class as fuck. We're sorted. So like, I'm I'm gonna be all right. So like, I'm I'm working as oh, a please. fucking YouTuber. Uh, that's essentially my job for now. But like, yeah, like I think definitely a lot of people will will and it, you know, there's there's no fucking shame in it. And like, but the thing is, like, I feel no. like I've done my time. I I worked in shit jobs for so long so many shit jobs so you know like i uh but massive respect to anyone who's doing that it's just you gotta do what you gotta do at the moment isn't it like, the, like you shouldn't I'm be fucking, fucking pride raging. about it i am raging because i was a teacher hmm. right and i just quit my job in january because i could finally i finally had enough work mm -hmm. to be a full-time comedian and now i've lost my job as a comedian and i'm forced to homeschool my fashion too <laughs> yeah that is a real slap in the ass 
Yeah, that's absolutely brutal. Oh, look, that's, I, I that's feel for you, man. Esther. That is absolutely I'll probably brutal. I'll have to go back to teaching. But at least you can hit these kids. Uh, yeah, probably could. Yeah, as long as you don't leave a mark, who's going to know? <laughs> is it still legal uh, to smack kids? I think it's, it's legal, not. You know? It's illegal up here now. Is it? Yeah, yeah I was going to say it's yeah, different yeah. in Scotland. Yeah, yeah it got passed last year. It's because you smacked yeah. your kids differently. We would like, you know, tap them on the ass. You'd like bang them out. No, I think it's illegal. Oh yeah, we we'd fucking yeah. put them in a river, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but if you, if, Mark, don't you find though that it's coming back to bite us in the ass now? Now that we're locked down with them, and you're like, all this mm. liberal parenting is now fucked because we've got no threat. No, no, no. They couldn't give a shit. They couldn't yeah. give two shits about what you see. Like, yeah. honestly. There's no threat like at the end of it. Feral. Yeah, what can you do? No. They know there's nothing you can do. Yeah. All right, you're going to take something away. I'll get it back. It's just there's nothing, there's nothing you can do. There's no threat. That's right. You need to start emotionally abusing them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but if you look at a naughty 10-year-old in Berwick and you've done something wrong, you, you just... Get yourself across the border, ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> Can't touch me. Yeah. You're like jumping back up. Like, oh, <laughs> uh, I did this. I did this reward chart with my kids. And I'm like, every time they do something right, I'm like, yeah, you need a tick. Here's a tick. So they've got all these ticks, and they can add the tick stuff, and then they can get something with it. And I completely lost my shit with my son and just went into the kitchen and just like rubbed all the ticks off. And I was like, you've got nothing, there's nothing. <laughs> my husband was like, that's literally like somebody just walking up and deleting your bank account. And my son was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're doing really well over here. Yeah, that, that, is, <laughs> that, is the, that is the thing with the, the lack of hitting. Like, what threat do you possibly have, really? Like, is there anything you could do? Like, I don't know. Like, I, w I was always worried about getting uh, hit. So, like, that was that would stop me a bit, I think. But, uh, yeah, talking to me. Oh, what, I'm going to go sit on the naughty step. Like, this is what fucked me off with, like, did you see someone try to do a clap for kids? Like, someone tried to, like, they were trying to organise that uh, on Twitter. Yeah. Fuck off. What have they Why? done? They don't deserve shit. Like they're already Why are we clapping for them. They're already sat at home playing PlayStation all day. That's what they want to do. Right, like, I don't. I wouldn't get involved I don't, in that. No, I'm not clapping for kids. It's a bit of a uh, danger. Oh, With that moustache, Josh, you better not get involved in a clap for kids. Yeah, I'm starting off. Just sound like we want kids to get. Hip hip. No, sir, please, no more. Yeah, yeah Josh walking out in the street. Guys, let's. Hey, <laughs> we're all. Come on, guys. Come join me for the kids. For children. Clapping individual, <laughs> just standing in my window, clapping them as I walk past. Yeah. Where are your kids, Josh? <laughs> Don't have any. Just fucking supportive. Just naked from the waist down. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know if uh, you have noticed this, but on my street, people's uh, clapping is really been ramping up over the last few weeks. Oh, really? Start, people, pots and pans. There's a lady on my street with maracas this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this building. Uh, where's it going to fucking end? <laughs> like, I'll be honest, like, in my area, it's like the, everyone did, did the you first ben one. Vogel's thing? Oh, God, yeah, for the Queen. Oh, yeah. Sing for the Queen, was it? Oh, it's her oh, birthday. Jesus. Is that gone? Oh, I don't know. Tuesday, I think. I think it's on Tuesday. Like, fuck, look, fuck okay. off, Ben Fogel. Fuck the fuck off. Like, what is your favourite flavour of boot polish, you fucking boot-licking asshole? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Queenie! Oh, la, la, Queenie! It's fucking pathetic. Like, the Queen will be just fucking fine. And if she's not, she's a million years old and a fucking, like, lizard billionaire. It's f it's, who gives a shit? I'm not worried about the fucking Queen right now. Put Rob down as I don't know. <laughs> Put him down as a maybe. <laughs> uh, interested. I've clicked interested on the invite. How did Ben Fogel get famous? Was it was it the island or something? Remember when they all had to go and live somewhere for a year? Yeah. Who is Ben Fogel? He, yeah, it was, it was like the like first reality shows. He's yeah. like a TV yeah, oh, sort of adventurer, basically. Oh, isn't he? blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Very wasn't posh. It called, wasn't it yeah. called like Survivor or something? Yeah, something like that. It was... It was a bit tamer well, than that. It was, it was like that to go and build a community on a an uh, island. Yeah, like I never year. watched it. Yeah, um, yeah, something like that. I, I, I will, I will Google it as we speak. What the show was, but yeah, basically, he's a professional posh man. Is the is the thing? Mm. Like, he's just, uh, he's like a TV presenter now. Mm. He'll host like things that are sort of um, posh, but sort of vaguely and it athletic. Was ben Fogel that said that we should all go and sing. Have Castaway, Castaway was the program yeah, he was, was on. 
cast away. We hang out the windows and sing to the Queen. Yeah, yeah like, no thanks. Like, she's not going to fucking hear. I'm in Manchester. Like, I'm in Levenshoom mm. in Manchester. <laughs> I, li- I live, I live like a hundred yards from the of Manchester's biggest tip. Like, is, she's not coming round here. <laughs> like, this is, you know, like. I- <laughs> I'm not singing happy birthday to the Queen. Like, fuck right off. Like, I really, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I know this is, will be a subject that I'm sure you have opinions on, uh, Mark, that, you know, are probably a bit stronger than mine, but I'm very much an anti royalist. Uh, like, I, I cannot be arsed with the royal family at all. I think it's fucking pathetic. Like, I think it's really pathetic to believe that some people are born better than you. And the fact that, like, I think it's one of the worst things about Britain is the fact that everyone, like, when there's a royal wedding, people are like, <gasps> Oh my god, the magical princess is getting married. I can't wait. Have all of my tax money. Fuck buying ventilators in case something happens. No, Princess Eugenie needs a new tiara. Yeah. Fuck off. I think it's a royalist. What's that, man? I find it genuinely incredible whenever I meet someone that's properly into the royal family. Yeah. Like, I find it the creepiest fuck. Like, <laughs> Like it's like because they're not even they're not even cele- they're not even celebrities they're not like like I can get the Kardashians mm. but mm. why the fuck do you like obsess about the royals it, it, I find it so bizarre I find it weird as well when people refer to them by their first name when they're like I love Harry yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't fucking like, know him mm. <laughs> mm. I love Harry and Meghan won't she last don't know never met her never yeah. will like- so. <laughs> my, my family so down to earth <laughs> no they're fucking not like yeah like uh yeah my uncle barry's fucking down to earth like they, they are not like yeah. but my yeah, yeah. Hello, Harry. Hello, Barry. Yeah. he's great yeah but like mm-hmm. it's like they, they, here's my family are like proper into the royals like uh like my mum and my oh, sister right. and that yeah so like every year at christmas we watch the queen's speech and i go dead behind the eyes and like it's it's brutal the queen's speech this year she didn't even mention prince andrew it's like that's all the news has been for six months tell me about your fucking lizard nonce son right that's all we want to hear about we want to hear about what went on on that fucking island where he definitely nonced a load of people like he definitely did right i don't give a fuck they're not watching this i'm not getting sued become a verb like when, when Prince Andrew got fucking involved, that's when it became a verb on that fucking island. But the... what annoys me about all the coverage <laughs> with Prince Andrew again is that everyone was like, "Oh, you know, did he do it? Did he not do it? Is it ethical to the interview?" And I'm like, all of it was paid by us, so we've gone to work so that somebody can fly privately to an island to have sex with underage people. Yeah, can we just address that? And they're like, "Oh, the Queen's." Stopped his birthday. I'm like, I don't care. He's talking fuck about his birthday party. I think we'd all be less annoyed about it if it was evenly shared out. If we all got a weekend where we got to go to the private island and have a go, yeah. then you <laughs> well, know, just do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, you just close yeah. the island. You go wild. Whatever's in your system, you need to get out of yourself. Just go and cleanse yourself there. Like the porridge. Oh, yeah. 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 We all get yeah. one once in our your life. Own. If your Uncle Barry's wedding was televised. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. If it's just like, yeah, just like, just down the fucking registry office. Everyone's like already half pissed. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, they've got to film, show the whole reception where like, you know, my auntie's crying and my cousin's throwing up in the fucking punch. Uh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> you have punch at a wedding. Oh, uh, like I, I, I have been at some, I have been at some classy it's weddings. It's his day, Esther. It's his day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for you. Barry wants a massive thing of punch. <laughs> Look, I like what I like, uh, Esther. <laughs> I've got a refined palate, and I want a fruit. <laughs> I'm not a classy man. Like, uh, luckily, like, uh, so just like we, you have just got married, haven't you? You, you did it. You like, yeah. Well, two years. It's my anniversary. All oh, right. On, okay. Uh, it's not that close. Though. Wednesday. So two, two years ago. Oh, congratulations, Josh. That's yeah, nice, man. Like, yeah. Like, I've, I've got that coming down the line. We're not like official or anything, but like, it's definitely going to happen. But like, you know, that's one of the th- nice things about her. Dead simple, wants like a barn or some shit. She'll be down for the punch. She won't be snooty about this. Like, what was yours like, man? Did you go? Did you have to go big? Uh, yeah, probably bigger than I'd planned, but it not not massive. And yeah, it was in a barn actually. Nice. I like uh, a barn. Yeah. Barn seems like a good place. Like a barn. Yeah. Yeah. Something a bit cozy about it. 
that's something I, like, I love weddings. I was supposed to go to eight weddings this year. Mm. I think like six of them are off. Yeah, no. I was meant to be best man at Sam Gore's wedding this summer, and like I've got a humdinger of a best man speech. So like I'm just I can't wait for that. But yeah, so yeah. that that looks like yeah. that's not happening. Like, um, yeah, Sam Gore's second cancelled wedding. Um, he got jilted one time, and then uh, really, yeah, really? not not at the altar, but like two weeks Shit. before is a jilting. I'm calling that a jilting. Mm-hmm. Like Sam Gore, he's a comedian and my best mate. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Sam Gore, I don't know him. No, you won't. He doesn't gig that much because he's a lazy fat cunt. Um, he's, he's broken emotionally. <laughs> yeah, he is brokenly emotionally. He's dead inside. He's yeah. in rehab. He's <laughs> <laughs> been engaged <laughs> twenty five times. Yeah, yeah. Like he's 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 not a well man. No, he just like basically he likes sitting at home eating cheese and writing and not really going out. So like he does more writing than he does anything else now. But uh, yeah, like so I was yeah I was meant to be his best man this summer. But uh, he had also booked his wedding on the same day as a music festival that we go to every year. So I was furious, to be honest with you. So, like, hopefully next year I can go to both now. What fe- what festival? Beat Herder. What festival? It's Beat Herder. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, it's my favourite festival, right? Yeah. We go every year and we do the comedy stage. And it's, like, it's up in the hills in Lancashire. And it's just, like, a three-day oh, rave. It's amazing. It's just like really, like really well thought out. It's so cool. Like all the there's all little secret areas. Like there's a swimming pool, but there's no advertising for it, right? There's a genuine indoor swimming pool you can go to, but you've got to know where it is. There's just like a little gap between two stalls where there's a little fence, and you go uh, knock on that, and a guy comes and lets you in, and there's showers, and like in the middle of these hills, oh, nice. they put the whole thing indoor swimming pool. It's incredible. They only let like eight people in at a time. There's no signs for it. It's just there, and people know about it. And there's all these like tunnels and shit. All the areas are really cool. So wow. we go every year and it's like every year, basically, I go there, fucking take enough acid to kill a horse and just refresh myself. <laughs> and like, come out of that. Anything. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to miss that a lot this year. Like I was I was eyeing up the park the other day. I was like, could I just trip bollocks in the park here? But like, firstly, I'm only allowed 20 minutes. And then secondly, you're going to have to deal with the residents of Manchester as well if you're doing that i'm not at a festival where it's controlled who's there i'm yeah. dealing with everyone who lives in my area and i can't yeah i can't be doing that when i'm fucked yeah did, like, did you do you have any big plans this summer that you had to cancel do you have anything you, like that you were meant to be doing just Edinburgh. Just, that's a fairly just, big just, one yeah just weddings for me i was at weddings and i was supposed to go to um krakow last week Oh, oh right. right. Yeah, I was meant to go to Poland actually. Like the weekend, yeah. the uh, the first weekend that it all started, everything got cancelled. I was meant to be in Poland. Yeah, and I, I was phoning mm. up to get my money back, and you, you can't really be like, oh, I want it. I want to go to Auschwitz, but you didn't mean like that. that's what that's the plan. When we didn't we didn't get to go, and you can't really complain about not get, getting to go to. Yeah, my trip Auschwitz. was ruined to Auschwitz. Yeah, so it's um it's a really hard thing to. But that's it. usually, if you'd had a holiday cancelled, you'd be devastated because it's just the norm, isn't it? You just yeah. accept, accept yeah, you, bad news now. Yeah, you kind of yeah. you kind of just roll with it. Like that's it. Like you know, I'm not expecting anything to actually be on, so it's not like a huge shock at any point when anything goes down. Still, uh, you know, it's it was quite depressing though. You know, like you knew it was happening, and then it happened, and then within that first week of lockdown, you know, you just got that kind of barrage of emails, and it was like yeah. on the hour, every hour, like this yeah. gig's cancelled, this gig's cancelled. Uh, yeah, cancelled. you're like. All of my diary is just empty. It's just mm. It was like me I and just, the chick. I put oh, on, God, I put on Facebook, like, just yeah. email me if the gig's still happening. Like, yeah. but to be yeah. honest, I found, I found, I actually found that fun, that that day quite funny because I like, I knew what was coming. I already knew. I had already accepted that it was not happening. Like you know, and then so when that day happened, it did like the first few. It's like okay, it's happening bit shit but then like when when i'm looking at literally 30 emails like that that started making me laugh to be honest like uh rob what? rob riley I sent out the fucking hit. best one like rob riley's a promoter in the northwest and he's a good egg and uh yeah he sent out the absolute best cancellation uh it was just like just wanted to let you know uh with this gig's now a double up and the fees have gone up haha <laughs> only joking you're fucked <laughs> like, i'm proper <laughs> pissed myself uh, i think we might have lost mark to be honest with you i think he might be gone but you know Fuck him. Um, so, like, to be honest, like, guys, we will just about uh, wrap up in a second, I think. Oh. Like, oh, is he coming back? But, um, 
yeah, like, it doesn't matter. If he pops back up, he pops back up. But I did want to say, like, this has been absolutely great, so we'll wrap it up in a second uh, before we go. Uh, you guys, before we do, uh, I'll put up some stuff for, like, Mark in a second if he doesn't... Oh, he's fully gone. Right. Uh, yeah, he's... Fully given up the ghost. <laughs> Bend uh, it. Bend his Bend phone. it off. Right. Uh, what I will do is... Uh, Let me just uh, change these things on screen. So, you guys, uh, pl basically plug yourselves. We'll start with Esther. Tell them about yourself. Tell them every anything they should know about you, where they can find you, all that sort of stuff. Um, anything you I want never to know. know. <laughs> Come and see my show, which will be happening. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Esther Manito on everything. Follow me. Nice. Not there we go. I'm just putting your hand on. Don't follow me in the street, but if you do, just try and keep it socially distant. <laughs> That's more than fair. Esther, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, like, it's been, uh, absolute pleasure. Josh, um, tell them about yourself. Tell them where you can find you, bud. Uh, so, yeah, Josh Pew Comic on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and also, I've got a parody account on Twitter called Grassroots Coach. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Like, I can't recommend that account enough. Like, it's it's really. Oh, I'm going to follow that. Oh, it's so oh, funny. It grassroots? Grassroots Coach. Grassroots Coach. It's on my. If you go into. If you Sorry, me on Twitter. Yeah, gra grassroots, grass, grassroots. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's just all on that. It's it's, it's genuinely oh, brilliant. Go, like it's uh, it's like yeah, like a parody of a kids' football coach who is just uh, well, 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 doesn't realise he's being really, really inappropriate all the time. Basically, is <laughs> that, it? That's it. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. It's it's so funny. Like it's it's funny enough that it's it's spawned a few really shit imitators. So I think you should feel very proud of that man. There's oh, been, oh, I am. I am. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. so cool. I'm gonna. Oh, one well, thing I am doing is every mm, weekday night at eight o'clock on Insta Live doing Pictionary. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, go nice. join that. That'll be that's something. To, that's a lovely thing to do. So yeah, go on Esther's uh, Insta Live. Check that out. Uh, Mark is uh, doing loads of things, but he's fucked off early, so he doesn't get to plug him. Fuck him. Uh, and, like I think he's doing like he's doing the stand live again on Friday. So um, like, I have ragged on people doing stand up on the internet on here several times. But if you want to see it done properly, they're actually doing it well. So there you go, check them out. How are they doing it? Because it is it is hard. Yeah, I don't know. I would have asked Mark, uh, but you know, okay. better things to do. <laughs> oh, we've got to go look after the family. What a fucking prick. Um, yeah, but, I'm not looking after mine. Yeah, Saddam, who gives a shit? And uh, if you've been watching this far, then uh, yeah, I think you owe some money to the Trussell Trust, right? I'm collecting donations for them at the moment because, like I say, like my girlfriend's paying my bills, so I'm all right. So the Trussell Trust are like, a great charity that give meals to people who desperately need them. And obviously, right now, that's the time. People need it more than ever. Uh, just a quick note, I just wanted to say uh, a little like, uh, rest in peace, Norman Hunter. He's gone today, and he's an absolute hero of mine who I loved, and uh, it's a great loss to the entire city of Leeds. So much love to his family and all that sort of stuff so uh yeah give a donation in norman's name i'd really appreciate that and uh yeah i'll be back again with another one of these tomorrow sorry to leave it on a bit of a bummer there but yeah like one of my heroes is gone so uh Aww. yeah so you can all feel sad as well you horrible little pricks right we'll be back tomorrow another one of these guys i'd love to have you back on another time thank you very much for coming this has been living the vida like that we'll see you later guys bye Fuck off, we're self-isolated.